today we are going to explain how we can select an inductor core this is an inductor core using area product method we are going to analyze it very simply without any complex max this is the equation for the area product method under which we can select a core what is the area of the core is determined using this equation before we giving explanation to this equation we have to know what is ac and what is aw ac means this area the core area the this is the width and this is the breadth if we calculate multiply this we will get this area the core area this area is the area where we are coil the wire so this is the area called aw and lg it is the gap a small gap is put in between these two cores that is called lg now how we can explain this equation we are going to explain this ac the term ac how this is term ac comes if we have a wire like this and a current is passing through it a magnetic field is generated and the magnetic field value is given by the current through it as more current flows through it the magnetic field strength will increase if we take a point away from this conductor and we measure the magnetic field at that point that will be less so as length increases the magnetic field de strength decreases this is said by the equation now if we wound the wire like this and the same current is passing through this now the magnetic field increases why because now each turn produces a magnetic field so the total magnetic field will be the number of turns into that current here 1 2 3 4 4 turns are there so 4 into current this is the magnetic field if you take a point near to each the magnetic field strength will be very high if we take a point very far from each the magnetic field strength will be very less now if we put a core inside this coil it will generate a flux the value of the flux depend upon the permeability of the material that is given by mu r relative permittivity mu zero means the permittivity of the air if the permittivity of the how much times it is bigger than the permittivity of air it is given by these two if we multiply these two values we will get the permeability of the materials that has to be multiplied with this magnetic field then then we will get the total flux through this core if we multiply this with the area of the core then we will get the total flux this this magnetic flux into ac will be given by the total flux usually the maximum flux that can provide by the material is different for different material for ferrite it is around 0.2 tesla and for iron it gives more flux that means 1.5 tesla so iron is producing more flux than ferrite so if we multiply this flux density with the area we will get the total flux if more area is there so it the core can occupy more flux more, as it is it it has more area it can occupy more flux now flux can also define in other term as this magnetic field increases this is the magnetic field ni by l and if the reluctance reluctance means that is opposite to the mu r that means if it is increasing the mu r decreasing mu r decreasing means the flux through it it cannot conduct more flux so as reluctance increasing flux we can also write like this that means flux is equal to magnetic field strength by reluctance so we have written like this that magnetic field strength by reluctance or ni by l by r both are same now what this equation is saying what the, what this equation means that means when a current is flowing through this these coils and these coils have this num much of number of turns and the current flowing is this much now 
it produces a magnetic field and if we put a magnetic material inside it and when we put a magnetic field inside it its reluctance reduces that means the flux is find easy an easy path to flow through this material if there is no material is put air the air is act as the material so the air has a less permittivity or it has high reluctance so a very little flux can be generated with the same magnetic field so in order to increase the flux we have putting a core inside it from here we can know that if reluctance increases or we take the coil outside air is the core so the flux will be reduced with the same current if the same current is flowing and the same number of turns are there the flux will be reduced if we put the core inside if the permeability of the core is high or reluctance is very less the flux more flux will be good. we can compare it with electrical terms if we have a voltage and we have a resistance if the resistance is very low more current will flow v by i v by r this is the r resistance v by r the current will be more like that instead of voltage here is the magnetic field if the magnetic field is more h is more and instead of resistance we have reluctance if the res re reluctance is very less more flux will go instead of current here flux is the term so we can compare both these now we have an equation for the inductance inductance can be said as for a particular current how much flux it is creating that is called inductance if there is no number of turns are there that means for a current how much it is producing the flux that means there, as there is no number of turns only if a flux is created but if there are more number of turns like this each will produce each each will produce a flux if a current goes through this so the total flux will be this the flux produced by one coil into the number of turns that is called the inductance flux is given by the magnetic field here the magnetic field divided by the reluctance as reluctance decreases more flux will be created and if more current is flowing through the circuit then also more flux will be created if the number of turns is more each co coil produces more flux then also the flux will increase so flux is given by magnetic field divided by reluctance as we said that l is equal to n phi by i so n into instead of phi we substitute this value this is also phi so n i by r and there is also a i here so in both term there is i so this will cancel the result is n square by r so inductance can be termed as n square by r we have already said that inductance is n phi by i if we expand this equation l i is equal to n phi now we if we further expand l i is equal to n phi can be exp expanded as b m into a c that we have already said earlier we have said here that b m into a c is phi so so we return phi as b m into a c from here we can calculate the ac so ac will be given by l i by n m n into b m so now we get the term ac ac is l i by n into b m what is this term l into i as we know that l into di by dt is is equal to voltage if we consider the di by dt that this dt as one second then it will be l into di means i 
this is voltage this is actually voltage so we can substitute it as voltage by if we take this bm to the top side then that will become bm into ac divided by n what this means this is the flux bm into ac means flux and n is the number of turns if there are this number of turns if we say four number of turns is there and the flux density if if we say taken for rate it's a bm is 0.2 tesla and it is that then how much area is required to withstand a voltage a particular voltage if this is 10 volt if we the core has to withstand 10 volt and the material used is ferrite it can handle 0.2 tesla and if we have a four turns number of turns is four turns how many area is it required that is what this equation says so the ac is mostly related to the voltage now we want to look at the aw the term aw aw means this gap what the important of this gap is that we are wounding the these coils these coils are wound on the core and this is the core in this core we are wounding the wire aw says how much area the core is needed to handle a particular amount of current and that is given by n into irms is equal to kw aw into j what this means j means the capacity of a wire to handle the current how much it can handle if you take copper it can handle 3 ampere for every mm square if the wire size if this is the wire if the wire, 1 mm square can handle 3 ampere and aw is the area as we said that this is KW is the actual copper area. We have usually insulation between wires and we have also put insulation between each layer of wires. So the total area will be very, the copper area will be very less. Usually that value will be, KW will be around 0.35. We assume that if the area is 1 meter square, then we multiply it this one with this 0.25 only 0.35 will be available as copper remaining area is used for insulation so we have to multiply it to 0.35 in order to understand this equation we are saying like this if we take this aw into kw what this means what is the actual area that we can use if the area is 1 meter we are wounding these wires and putting insulation between them after putting all this insulation we will only get a small area of copper that is what is this side gives now what this term means this term means what has to be the if we want to flow 5 ampere current through it if we want to pass 5 ampere of current through this and we are using copper wire then the copper wire has 3 ampere per mm square the maximum capacity the copper wire has 3 ampere per mm square so we have to use thick wires so we will divide this 5 divided by 3 if you say 6 for uh, easy we, if you take 6 ampere 6 ampere current has to be passed through it and 1 mm square copper will only giving path to 3 ampere then the diameter of the copper wire should be 2 mm square if 1 mm square is used it can only pass 3 ampere here we have to pass 6 ampere so the diameter of the wire is 2 mm square into number this is the diameter if multiply with number of turns if the number of turns is more we want more area as the number of turns increases we want more area so if, if we want 10 number of turns 10 into 2 mm square will be 
the area so as current increases the mm square increases and as the number of turns increases also the area we want to wonder is increasing now we have two ac is l into im divided by n into bm that is we have already calculated here and aw is from this equation we know that n into irms by j into kw so if we multiply both this ac into aw we will get l into im into irms into n divided by n into bm into j into kw this n and this n will be cancelled now the final term is l im irms divided by kw bm into j this is the area product method this is how we are calculating the core needed for inductor